So barroom queen Memphis She tried to take a stairs for a ride The lady had to keep me cross the shoulder Now I just can't see Drink you all She's a hog dog. Give me, give me, give me a hog dog. I met a divorcee in New York City I had to put some kind of a fight The lady went covered me up in roses But she blew my nose, then she blew my mind She's a honky tonk woman. Give me, give me, give me a honky tonk woman. Honky tonk woman. Give me, give me, give me a honky tonk woman. Hey, how you doing out there, guitar? <laughs> guitar heroes. We love the Rolling Stones, right? Honky Tonk Woman, 1969. Song didn't even make it to an album. <laughs> Until we got to a greatest hits album. Can you believe it? Wow. Uh, famous song, obviously. Uh, and uh, lots of complexity to the song that we're not dealing with here. Uh, Keith Richards has got uh, open D tuning to all the lead guitar stuff, you know, which is really great. Uh, and uh, obviously not, not part of this lesson. If you're by yourself and you're strumming a acoustic guitar, you're going to be pretty much doing the, the rhythm part, which that's what we're concentrating uh, on today and not worrying about the complexity of adding an open, open tuning uh, chord. Okay, so we've, uh, I'm using pretty much all bar chords today. And that's pretty much just to kind of stay in the flow. And, you know, obviously once you're in bar chords, at least for me, you may find that it's easier than to jumping back and forth in and out of bar chords. Now, there really isn't any, you don't really have to play any bar chords in this song if you don't want. I just like the, the chunkiness feeling uh, uh, sound of this. Rather than playing on a G like this. So either one of those things works perfectly well. Now it's a fairly short song, there's really only two verses and a chorus. Uh, there is uh, on the, one of the later uh, albums, uh, there's a slowed down version which isn't called Honky Tonk Woman, it's called Honky something, Honky Tonk, something else and they use the same words and there's, a, there's a, another, uh, there's another verse, uh, one more verse but that's not that big of a deal. Those, the, Two we're fine with plenty of guitar solo, right? Okay, so we're going to get started with the G, and that little intro uh, is just kind of a rhythm thing. And so I'm just kind of hitting the big strings here with the G bar chord. Now, G bar chord, of course, we're you know we're talking about the E form, right? E form, bring it up to the third fret, lay my bar down, and the bar always goes just behind. Just behind the little pin here, right? So you can get a nice clean sound. So a couple of those strums, and then you're into the first verse. I met a tin club, borrowed queen in Memphis. Now I'm going to hit a C here, C bar chord. And then I'm going to find an F way up here. 
Now, you can find F down here. I could have gone with it. That way. But I like the sound of going down here to the, uh, let's see, where are we at here? We're at five. Five, seven. I think we're at the eighth fret. And that is an F. So we got the C, Memphis. And then right back to that C. Okay, so let's just try that again. I met a borrowed queen in C. F. And I'm, let's see. Two, an up and a down hit. And then we'll, you're back to the C. And then we go right into she, G. God, take me A upstairs. And then I go to an uh, open chord here. We get this G sustained four. to do that. <laughs> and I go right back to the G bar chord again. The lady keep me a crawl Now I G just can't see D drink you all my mind And then I'm adding a quick the C C G to finish that off. And I'm not saying that's the exact way that, that it's, it's being played, but that's, that sounds like it works for me because it seems like there needs to be something at the end. And then we're going to go into the chorus. Well, she's a... And this is a little hard to sing. Uh, I'm tuned down a half, and I, I really can't hit that the way I should. Uh, she's a honk D honk -y -tonk And then I do that quick C again. Give me, give me D, the honky tonk blues, and then uh, last verse or last uh, line in the chorus, honk G D D honky tonk. So honky is two chords. Honk D G and D tonk, and then back to the G. Give me, give me D, the honky tonk. And that's really, that's the whole song uh, right there. We, we go into another verse exactly the same as the first, and then we play the chorus. And then you can just repeat, uh, I just repeated the last line uh, twice at the end. And I, I, if I remember right, I think that the chorus may get repeated at least two times at the end, I mean, uh, because there's no other verses to go into, so you stretch it out with guitar solos and, <laughs> and doing, the, doing the chorus a few times. So there you go, Honky Tonk Women by the Rolling Stones, kind of a simplified uh, method for guitar strummers and gives you a good uh, bar chord uh, workout, and I'm sure that uh, you, you probably haven't done this too many times. Found a, an F down. I was doing, I wasn't doing, doing it down, down here, and it just sounded better to get up, to get up here, so. So that's the way we left it. And there's, you know, the strum pattern, there's not, a, not anything too complicated. At the beginning. I met a gentle borrow queen. feels right to me. All right, I hope you got something out of this lesson. Take it easy. And Honky Tonk Woman Rolling Stones 1969 is a song you need to know. <laughs> All right. See you next time.